go. Sullivan Ross represents hate, white supremacy. He represents the Confederacy. And if A&M continues to allow an open display of Sullivan Ross statue, then they are promoting white supremacy and racism. Ross established the first state institute for the care of deaf and blind black children, as well as mental health facility for blacks. He insisted that public schools, were, black public schools, were to get equal funding in textbooks, insisting that the books be provided to all students. For many years, Texas a and has dismissed the voices of their black students who experience and endured racial injustices on their campus. Texas A&M prides themselves on diversity and inclusion, but has yet put that model into action. And if they had previously listened to our complaints, then we would not be gathered here today. We will not let Texas A&M silence our voices. Texas A&M prioritizes their traditions over inclusiveness. And we cannot let that continue to happen. And if the issue is honoring tradition and history, then let's make that tradition a representation of all students, not just white. In the late 1800s, within 20 years of the Civil War, he was doing this. And I know what it was like when they integrated the schools in 1965. Can you imagine what it was like for him, the resistance he met to, met to do what he did? In 1885, think about it. He was, he was a champion for everybody that lived in Texas. White, black, red, brown, you name it. He made sure everybody had a chance to get an education. Now these dumb suckers over here are gonna say he was a racist because he didn't integrate everything in 1885. I'm telling you now, I know for a fact, if he had tried it in 1885, he probably would have been killed. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Sally's statue has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Sally's statue has got to go. So
understand that we're not just trying to take down this statue for fun. We're not doing it so we can erase your precious history. We're doing it because there is a hidden campus culture that's not very, not very well hidden, to be quite honest with you. We're here to end that. So I'm going to go ahead and list what exactly it is that we want. So we're mandating race and ethnicity courses as a core curriculum for 